a great segue to the next step. Let's put that together and talk about constrained choice. Okay. Which is now, let's put together, we know what your preferences are. We've mathematically represented those by utility function. We know what your budget set is. We've mathematically represented that based on your income and prices. Now let's put them together and talk about how you make choices. Okay? And the basic idea is, the basic question we want to ask is, what's the most, what's the highest utility you can achieve given the constraints your budget constraints put on you? Okay? So, or graphically, so once again, one intuitive, let's understand this intuitively, graphically, and mathematically. Intuitively, the idea is quite simple, I think, okay? which is just what's the most you can have okay, given the constraints that are placed on you. Graphically, we represent that as asking what is the furthest out indifference curve you can achieve? Because remember, more is better. Indifference curves that are further out make you happier. So what's the furthest out indifference curve you can achieve given your budget constraint? Okay? So to do that, let's actually do an example. Let's imagine, as last time, your utility is the square root of pizza times movies. Once again, this has no fundamental meaning. It's just a mathematical representation of your preferences. Okay? So your preferences are mathematically represented by utility equals square root of pizza times movies. And let's have the same budget constraint that we have up here. Income is $96. Price of movies is $8. Price of pizza is $16. Now let's go to the next graph. Okay, figure 5, 4. What this does is put together our indifference curve analysis with our budget constraint analysis. The straight line running from a y-intercept of 6 to an x-intercept of 12. That's your budget constraint. We saw that before. Then we have here a series of indifference curves. These curves are drawn, these are mathematically representative of this utility function. These are points among which you're indifferent if you have that utility function. And what we see is that the best you can do is to choose point D. Point D with six movies and three pizzas. OK, that should be P on the, um, on the y-axis, not C. Uh, should be movies on the x-axis and pizzas on the y-axis. OK, it should be P on the y-axis. OK, the best you can do is to, choose, uh, is to choose at point D. Now, to see that, and that gives utility. What's, your, what's, your, what's the value of your utility at point D? Uh, we understand value is meaningless, but just so we can compare, what's the value of your utility at point D? Three. Square root of 18. Okay. The value of utility is square root of 6 times 3, which is the square root of 18. Okay. Square root of 18. Okay. Let's talk about why that's the best point for you. Let's think about some alternative points. For instance, why is that better than point E? Why is it better than point, um, than point A? Point A you can afford. So why is point D better than point A? So it's true you can afford point A, but you're on a lower indifference curve. Utility is a lower value. It's only square root of 10. So point A is dominated by point D. What about point C? Well, point C, you're, you're on the, you have the same um, uh, point C is sort of, it's just an inward shift from point D. But here, that's a dominated choice. Once again, utility is lower. It's the square root of 4.5 times 2.2. OK? And basically, uh, that's dominated because you could afford more. So basically, the point is that the point which will make you happiest is the point at which your indifference curve is tangent to the budget constraint. Because that is the point of the farthest out indifference curve that you can reach given your budget constraint. The tangency of the indifference curve and the budget constraint is the point which makes you best off given your available budget and the available prices. Okay? And that's the point where the slope of the indifference curve equals the slope of the budget constraint. Okay? The tangency is the point where the slope of the indifference curve equals the slope of the budget constraint. Okay? Or more relevantly, if we put it math, if we start, so that, okay, let me stop there. That's the graphic intuition. Where the slope of indifference curve because the slope of the budget constraint is the optimum because by definition, that is the point of the furthest out indifference curve you can reach that's given your budget, the point of tangency is the point of equal slopes.